The Biden administration faces increasing pressure to supply Israel with powerful weapons. The growing number of dead in Gaza is deepening questions about whether United States, the country's largest military supporter, needs to do more to ensure safety of civilians. Arrow right rights groups, along with a growing bloc within President Biden's Democratic Party, are intensifying their scrutiny the flow weapons to Israel, which has contained tens thousands s since the bloody attacks Hamas militants on October 7. Local officials say at least most civilians lost 17,700 lives in the Israeli operation to disband. The Palestinian group, at heart debate is Biden's own rules for arming foreign countries, while demanding billions dollars additional military assistance for Israel's Gaza operation. These rules include, when U.S. government assesses that international law has been violated, it shows that transfer weapons must not happen, and probability occurrence is more likely than not. Presenting the first detailed explanation of their approach to complying with these guidelines, management officials say they have had extensive talks with their Israeli counterparts to ensure that the country understands its obligations under international humanitarian law. But they also acknowledge that the United States has not made real time assessments of Israel's adherence to war laws. Like other officials, he is a senior U.S. official who speaks on the condition that his name is not revealed. Tell about sensitive internal debates. He said administration was unable to conduct a simultaneous assessment of Israeli cohesion because. Authorities lacked access to the intelligence that Israeli forces used to make their own plans. Referring to international norms governing the conflict. From here, in real time, it is possible but still meticulously to talk about framework, about legal principles, or even some rather subtle, specific points said. In some cases, administration officials have directed specific questions to the Israelis as they did after an attack that killed more than 100 people in a refugee camp in October. In such cases, Israeli authorities have shared information on target setting and legal analyses, confirming the conclusion that U.S. officials share their understanding of Israel's obligations. He said, We're having very tough and sometimes very tough conversations. Some legal experts say that these discussions need to be more actively monitored in American weapons before additional weapons can be provided. Brian Finnecane, a former State Department lawyer who currently serves as a senior advisor to the International Crisis Group, said, This is only the first step. Even if United States and Israel agree on same black letter rule, Rules on conduct of hostilities and targeting in this case still leave question of how these rules are interpreted. There is also a growing interest in American arms supplies as Israel intensifies its operations in southern Gaza to ensure